All right, continuing this series of taking players and kind of looking at their splits in certain scenarios and seeing what they're better or worse at given certain situations. I found it just, you know, I always find this stuff interesting. It rarely changes my opinion on how good or bad I think a player is, but what it can do is kind of give me a better idea of who that player is, and that's what I find interesting about it. So going here with Patrick Mahomes, I definitely think he's someone who I'm very fascinated in doing something like this on simply because he's someone who, you know, uh, is obviously a big, massive player in the NFL. He's one of the key guys in this league. So kind of learning as much about him as possible is, you know, interesting. So uh, without further ado, let's get into some of these uh, stats here. So we'll start off with under pressure versus kept clean statistics. Uh, and just so you know what you're looking at, if this is the first one of one of these videos that you're watching of mine, uh, well, first, thank you. Appreciate it. But the way that this works is so, you know, it's going to be where Mahomes ranked among the rest of the league at certain positional categories uh, given certain situations. So under pressure, he had the 12th best pro football focus grade. 10th best passer rating, uh, 26th best big time throw percentage, and 19th best turnover worthy play percentage. That's 19th best, not 19th worst. So the closer you get to one, the better you do at protecting the football. SS at the end is just sample size. So what you see here is, you know, just looking across the board, the only real massive jump in either of these categories is turnover worthy play percentage. That's a very good job. Top 10 at uh, you know, protecting the football one kept clean. However, when he's under pressure, uh, it's dipped a little. He also doesn't do an incredible job, or at least didn't do an incredible job last year of getting those big time throws under pressure, which has kind of been a staple of the Chiefs offense these past few years. So that's another thing that I do find interesting. Uh, the big time throws just in general with Mahomes were down, uh, but as a whole, not a massive jump either way. Also going over here, this is going to be what, you know, what happened when he got rid of the ball in less than two and a half seconds and when it took him more than two and a half seconds to throw the football. Uh, the reason why you cut it off at two and a half seconds, that tends to be right around when the play breaks down and a quarterback has to ha make something happen out of nothing. It's not exact, but it's, you know, it's still interesting data to gather here. Uh, again, you're going to see an exact same uh, pro football focus ranking, uh, 12th best when it's less than two and a half seconds or more than two and a half seconds, which is interesting to me. Again, some people are going to sit here and say, wait a second, Mahomes is only the 12th best quarterback in football, uh, or at least he was only the 12th best quarterback in football last year. That can't be right. But again, re remember what PFF is. I, I kind of compare it to a batting average type stat. How often are you doing the right play? I think it's fair to say there are guys who probably will do the right play and do a positive graded play more frequently than Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes will just get you those splash plays, even if the splash plays were a little bit more hard to come by last year. I think largely due to the way defenses played him and kind of solely went after taking that away. Now, the passer rating did see a big jump from, you know, he was third best at passer rating when he got rid of the football quickly, but only 18th when it took him more than two and a half seconds, which is a bit interesting because, again, like I said, it seems like, you know, the team used to be, hey, let's just, you know, let Mahomes run around for a while and good things will happen. Well, that's not really what their main success was last year when they threw the ball. It was actually largely through design plays, which is interesting to me. No big jump in big time throws or turnover worthy plays, kind of a similar, you know, amount there. So no real big jump other than the results itself. So I think it's fair to say Mahomes played about as well in, you know, both categories. It's just that the team itself played better when things were working by design, as opposed to making Mahomes make stuff happen, which again, kind of interesting. We could also look at his play action versus no play action splits. Again, very similar PFF grade, uh, right around, you know, uh, been a lot of similarities with that so far. Uh, again, pass the rating, not massively different, was a little bit better. He was a little bit better when he wasn't running play action than when he was running play action. So that's something that's interesting. And I think a big part of it probably was that, you know, you see the big time throw percentage. Uh, didn't really have as many opportunities to get those splash plays when he was running play action. When you kind of just let him do his thing, he gets more opportunities to make splash plays. So again, this is relative to the rest of the league. Uh, turnover worthy play percentage was again very similar regardless. So 
what's fascinating to me about Mahomes more than anything is there aren't any massive splits in any of these categories that we've mentioned so far. Uh, pretty much all of this stuff is relatively close, which usually isn't the case. There's usually kind of a trend that follows with these, not really with Mahomes. Finally, let's talk about depth of target and how well he performs in certain you know areas down the field, whether it's 20 plus yards down the field in that 10 to 19 range or in that zero to nine range. Uh, you see the PFF grade goes up the further he throws it down the field, which I think checks out. I think that makes sense. We kind of expected that from Mahomes. We know that that's where, really where he thrives is pushing the ball down the field. Passer rating, again, very good when he threw the ball down the field. An element of that is going to be Andy Reid setting things up because passer rating is a team stat uh, just as much, if not more, than a quarterback stat. What is interesting, though, is while the PFF graders weren't overly impressed with Mahomes' 0 to 9 yards down the field range uh, type stuff, the passer rating and the results itself were very good. So they, the results were still good. That might be a scheme thing. Uh, it might be, you know, you're throwing it to Tyree Kill sometimes who would take off and get a bunch of yards. Perhaps that is something. But it's also fascinating because that's kind of the area we've talked about as the Chiefs need to improve upon this area, this 0-9 to nine yards down the field range. They were actually really good at it. I think a big part of it, too, is the scheme that they would go up against. Teams are playing two safety deep coverages all the time. It's just there's bigger windows in that 0-9 to nine range. I would predict that has the biggest indicator of that for me personally. Big time throw percentage was good 20 plus yards down the field. You kind of would maybe hope for it to be better. It has been better in the past, but again, did not have as many uh, splash plays this year as he did last year. That's just, you know, uh, I think that there's data to back that up. I also think the film backs that up in my opinion. Uh, 26 in that 10 to 19 range. And then, okay, so he's technically third in big time throw percentage in the zero to nine range, but I keep having to put an asterisk on that for each one of my videos I make because there were four big time throws in that zero to nine range. Mahomes had one of them. So that's why he's uh, there with the third best percentage, just because, you know, most people did, had zero. So a uh, bit of an asterisk there. And then the turnover worthy play percentage, interestingly, he's actually better at protecting the football relative to his competition the further he throws the ball down the field so he is someone who I mean that's kind of part of what makes him so incredible and why does 20 plus yards down the field plays work is he doesn't really put the ball in harm's way while still getting those splash plays even if the splash plays were down this year still 19th best big time throw percentage with third best turn of worthy play percentage that's still really impressive and really good even in a quote-unquote down year for Mahomes uh still you know definitely gets a little bit higher up the closer he gets to himself, uh, which again, I think we knew about Mahomes. He is better when he's pushing the ball down the field. All right, so what have we learned here with Mahomes? What is the new stuff that we now know about Mahomes? Uh, not a ton, I think. I mean, again, kind of some reinformed and reinforced what we already knew to some degree. He's better at pushing the ball down the field. But I think that maybe the more interesting thing about Mahomes is how little of a difference there is in a lot of these splits. Uh, it seems like he does pretty much... like quality he plays quality football regardless of the situation he is in which is fascinating to me he is someone who I think can perform well no matter what the situation uh is for the most part and this is in a down year so you think about his down year uh what was he bad at well like he wasn't really bad at anything like he just like kind of took a step back really it was the lack of these explosive plays which part of me feels like a big chunk of why he had a lack of explosive plays was less about him and more about the you know just the way teams were playing him team's sole goal is to stop Patrick Mahomes from throwing the ball over their heads, and that will continue to be team's uh, sole goal, but it seems like the Chiefs are now finding ways to try and counteract that, I think largely through, you know, the way they built this receiving core of trying to have, you know, three or four good guys who can catch the football as opposed to just Kelsey and Hill. Now, I don't know if, you know, again, maybe they could have kept Hill and also added uh, a Sky Moore or something like that, but still, uh, it's very fascinating and very interesting. So that's what I take about away from all of this stuff. What do you guys think? What's your takeaway from all of this data? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.